Hello and welcome to TikTok Time. This series of films suggests activities for our youngest visitors and their families based on the amazing paintings and objects at Penley House Gallery and Museum. These ideas are designed for under fives, but anyone can have a go. Each film is divided into three sections. Look. Take a closer look at one of the paintings or objects and see what you can find. Listen. Hear a story or join in with a song or rhyme. Do. Try out an activity or get creative and make something. You don't have to do all the sections together. Feel free to pause and come back at any time. Let's see what we can explore today. This painting is called Aunt Lilla. Aunt Lilla is an old lady and this is her sitting room. Can you see some pictures on the wall behind her? They have frames around them. Can you find three frames with rectangle shapes? Rectangles have four sides and they're a bit like squares. One, two, three. Can you find a little picture with an oval frame? That shape is a bit like an egg. There's a really big mirror on the wall too. That's in an oval or egg shape. Can you see it? Do you have a mirror at home? Do you ever pull funny faces when you're looking in it? Underneath the pictures and the mirror is a big chest of drawers. Can you see the metal handles on the drawers? I wonder what Aunt Lilla keeps in her chest of drawers. Clothes? Bed sheets and pillowcases? Paper and pens? What do you think? What do you keep in your drawers at home? Aunt Lilla's chair has some flowers on the fabric of the seat. Can you see them? She also has some flowers in a vase. Aunt Lilla looks quite tired. I wonder how long she's been sitting on her chair. Perhaps she's listening to the radio or watching television. What do you think? Aunt Lilla is wearing a really cosy cardigan with buttons on. Can you count the buttons? Aunt Lilla has a bow at her neck. It's quite fancy, isn't it? I wonder if Aunt Lilla makes some of her clothes. Perhaps she sews and knits. On the table, there's a bowl with her sewing and knitting things in. Cotton threads and needles. There's also a little clock to tell her what time it is. What time is it where you are? I think it might be time for tea. Aunt Lilla was a quiet person and lived in a quiet house. All sorts of sounds could be heard in Aunt Lilla's house, sounds we wouldn't usually notice. When Aunt Lilla opened a drawer, there was a pulling sound. And when Aunt Lilla closed a drawer, there was a pushing sound. Aunt Lilla kept a little clock on the table so she knew what the time was. The clock made a ticking sound as the big hand and the little hand moved around. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. And when Aunt Lilla looked in the mirror each morning as she brushed and pinned her hair, she often heard the mirror make a sound. 
to let her know her hair was neat and tidy. But the sound Aunt Lilla liked most of all was the sound she heard when she opened the window. It was the birds outside. Tweet, 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 tweet. Aunt Lilla was used to the sounds of the daytime, but when Aunt Lilla went to sleep in her bedroom, she didn't hear the sounds of her sitting room at night. The people in the picture frames had a yawn. <sighs> and a chat. Had a good day? Yes, fine, relaxing. What did you do? Oh, nothing much. Same as yesterday. And the day before. You? Yes, stayed here too, all good. The flowers in the vase had a stretch of their stems. And they had a drink of their water. And then they had a little flutter of their petals. They moved just a tiny bit to make themselves comfy again in the vase. Oh, I must say, your petals are looking very pretty in pink. Oh, thank you. And uh, your yellow petals are looking wonderfully bright and sunshiny. And red, I must say, how bright you look today. Thank you. I faced the window all day long. Aunt Lilla's sewing box was filled with threads of different colours. Purple. Green, black, brown, orange and yellow, blue, red, grey and white, pink and gold. There were needles and pins, spare buttons, a tape measure sewing patterns, a pair of scissors and pieces of fabric left over from things Aunt Lilla had made, like cushions and clothes and handkerchiefs. Aunt Lilla liked a fancy hanky for blowing her nose. In the daytime the sewing box was quiet, unless Aunt Lilla was rummaging through it. But at night the sewing box rustled and rattled as the colours danced together and the pins jumped around in their tin. All of the objects in the sitting room knew Aunt Lilla well. She cared for them by dusting and tidying. They saw Aunt Lilla sit in her chair for a long time each day. Sometimes she seemed a bit sad. Perhaps she was lonely. So the objects decided to help and made a plan they whispered at night. The people in the frames came up with the ideas. The flowers in the vase chose the colours. The sewing box got busy. There was cutting, pinning, threading, stitching and making. The drawers in the sitting room kept the surprise hidden. And after a week it was finished. The next morning, when Aunt Lilla looked in the mirror and brushed her hair, she heard the mirror make its happy sound. But then she heard a new sound. What could it be? And where was it coming from? It sounded like... Meow! Meow! It sounded very close to Aunt Lilla. She put her ear to the chest of drawers. It was louder. Meow! Meow! Aunt Lilla opened the top drawer. Nope, it wasn't coming from there. Aunt Lilla opened the bottom drawer. No, it wasn't coming from there. Aunt Lilla opened the middle drawer. Meow! Meow! 
Looking out were two button eyes, two floppy ears, a long tail and a stitched smile. Well, where have you come from? I like your sound, said Aunt Lilla. Meow, meow, said the fabric cat. I like your smile. I will call you Stitch. And from then on, if ever Aunt Lilla felt lonely, she sat with her sewing cat, Stitch, on her lap. And together they enjoyed the sitting room sounds. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, meow. And Stitch made Aunt Lilla happy by getting up to all sorts of mischief. Meow! Meow! Using a pen and a ruler, you need to mark out your paper plate. First, find the quarter points and make a mark. Then mark out two points evenly spaced between each quarter. Now you need to cut small snips into your paper plate where you have drawn your marks. Make a small cut about one centimetre onto each mark on the plate. Now you are ready to thread your paper plate with wool. First, fix the end of the length of wool with some tape at the back of the plate. Pull the wool gently across the plate and loop the wool over the back. Now take the wool across the front of the plate and secure again with a loop at the back. Keep going until you have crisscrossed your wool over the plate and you have made your weaving loom. Finally, secure the last piece of wool with some tape at the back. Now your loom is ready for weaving. Choose your first colour of wool. Tie the wool onto a piece of your loom in the middle of the plate. Now you can start to weave and wet them over, under and over, all the way round the circle. Keep adding another colour of wool and tie on your new colour. Keep going until your weaving is complete with all your wonderful colours of wool. When you feel your weaving is complete, you are ready to take it off the plate. Take off one of the loops of wool from the back of the plate. Cut the loop and tie both pieces of the wool together. Repeat with each loop of wool at the back of the plate. Tie and cut the loose ends of wool. Snip off any loose ends of wool from your weaving to make it neat and tidy and complete. Today we saw a painting of an old lady called Aunt Lilla sitting in her home. We listened to a story about how the objects helped find Aunt Lilla a new friend, a cat called Stitch. And we made a colourful weaving. I think I might do some more making now.
with my wool and my threads, I'm going to choose some different colours. Mm, I think this time I'll have blue and purple and green. What colours will you choose next time? Bye bye! We hope you enjoyed exploring with us today. Don't forget to share what you've seen and done with family and friends. You can also share with us. Details of how to share are here. There's so much to explore at Penley House. I wonder what we'll find next time. We hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.